Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan with Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with me, I run my own business helping clients from all over the world with all sorts of different services for their smartphones. Now here with me today I have an HTC Desire 626 from T-Mobile that a client has asked me to work on for them. So here the phone's been reset because we're at the initial startup screen. Now as we proceed through the steps, we go to Wi-Fi, which we are connected to here, and then on the next page, we have Google checking their connections, and then we're going to actually come to a page that says that the device was reset and we have to sign back in with a Google account that was previously on the phone. Now that's a security feature that Google has implemented in Android 5.1 and up, so it can be on any manufacturer phone that uses Android. It can be Samsung, LG, Sony, HTC, etc. And it's a security feature meant to decrease fraud and other issues, but it's becoming a lot a big hassle for some people because either they will go to buy a phone from someone used and the seller is dishonest and doesn't tell them about the phone status that it has that lock enabled, or some people have even gotten themselves locked out of their phone due to putting in their PIN code too many times or what have you, and then the phone needs to be reset, but they don't remember their Google account info. In this case specifically, the client has asked me to help him because he gave the phone to his small child just to play around with the phone, and the child got him locked out. And he doesn't remember his Google account info, tried to get his password reset, etc., isn't able to get back in. So, as you might have guessed, my business offers services to be able to get past the lock on a phone like that, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here to the phone right now. So I have it plugged in. I'm going to run a little software test here. And then after that, we're going to reboot the phone and see that it now does get past that Google lock, having been removed. You guys have been asking for this for a long, long time on HTC phones, and I'm happy to announce that I finally have it cracked. So here we have the phone rebooting. We're on the HTC screen. It'll we'll take another second or two to do its thing here. All right, just about done powering up. Okay, back at the start screen now, so the same place that we were before. So we're gonna go ahead and go through and there's the Wi-Fi page again. And now, as we go through the setup, come on, there we go. It's going to check with Google. And now the lock has been removed from the phone because now it's asking us to add our own account instead of asking us to sign back into the previous one. So let me skip through everything here, and then I'll be able to show you the main home screen that the phone is now fully usable. Skip through the rest of some of the setup steps here. Skip through that. All right, there we are. So, we are now at the phone's main home screen now, and let that load, there we go. So now the lock has been taken off the phone and it is fully able to be used again. So if you have an HTC Desire 626 that has the Google account lock on it and would like to get it removed, go ahead and get in contact with me. All the details for contacting me will be right in the video description. Make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel also as I offer a lot of different services for a lot of different phones and I'm sure you'll find something there that interests you. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos that I'm constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, yo también hablo español, no sé que ustedes no duden contactarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.